fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today with an exciting sneak peek from Oraloa. They, I think, were planning to pause sneak peeks for a while but you guys apparently love sneak peeks and so they contacted me and asked me if I'd do one and I said well of course and I'm so excited to show you guys this kit. First of all, they have changed their packaging. So they now have this kind of green, blue-green gradient box with their little logo up here at the top. Premium diamond painting canvas set. Let your creativity sparkle. And then they've got instructions on the back. And then they put on the end and on the side, which I'm not going to show you because I want to keep it a secret, uh, stickers so that you know what kit it is, which I actually appreciate because I typically put my little labels on the side of my packages so because of the way that I store them I'm not usually looking at the ends I'm looking at the sides of my diamond paintings and so I put my labels on the side so I'm actually pretty stoked that there's a picture on the side so I'll know what it is without having to make my own label so it's a little different than their old packaging their old packaging looked like this you know still the little tiki mask with Oraloa but it was this kind of white and gray box I actually really like the new branding so super excited about this this is I think a pretty big kit so I'm gonna get it out of the box and then I'm gonna show you as much as I can in here if I can't get it all on screen we'll take a trip out to the dining room where I can lay it out on the table so we can all look at it so let me get it out of the box I'll be right back all right this is a pretty big kit as you can see this is 70 by 70 it is a square it's called the future by Marieva Cordo Cardoso so let me show you a little picture of it look it is this very cool futuristic steampunk image you've got this girl with all the steampunk the hat the goggles and then you've got this robot and kind of all this gears and lights in the background so let me unroll it and we'll look at the drills the stickers and all that good stuff so it's pretty big I thought maybe I'd be able to get away with not taking a trip out to the dining room but I don't think that's gonna work I think I'm gonna have to take it out there so you guys can see everything get this roll in the opposite way here so I can get the canvas to kind of flatten out a bit so that we can all look at it and see all the goodies Ooh, that's a lot of drills I'm gonna lay the canvas down here let it relax a little bit and let's look at all this stuff so first we have the instructions I don't ever use those we've got our toolkit we've got our stickers here and we've got our drills Woof, those that's a big bag of drills. So before we look at the stickers, let's look at our toolkit and see what's in our toolkit. Now, like I said, this is a sneak peek of a new release. It will be available tomorrow, which is the 23rd, I believe. So I won't have a direct link to it, but I will stick a link to the Orlo website down below so you can check it out. And what do we get? We get our tray. We get our diamond painting pin with a three and a nine placer. We get a scrunchie. We get wax. We get some very pokey tweezers. And we get their Oraloa branded washi tape. All right, let me get all this back in the toolkit and we'll look at the stickers. So here we have our stickers. You can see Here's the artist's name, the title of it, and here you have the sticker. This will be the sticker that I use for my logbook. It is 70 by 70 or 27.5 by 27.5. It is a square, like I said. We've got 51 colors, and let's see how many of those are ABs. One, two, three. So we've got three ABs and lots of different colors. So I might, this would be a really good one for me to use my copper. Uh, sparklers that I got from DP with sparklers or my gunmetal ones I bet they both would be really cool in here or even my metallic ones because of course there's a lot of metal in this photo her little feather in her hat yeah we'll get to look at it uh, in detail let me grab the canvas yeah I think we're going to take a trip out to the 
dining room table. I know it's a bit of an odd angle. Uh, I will try to take some B-roll of you know the, the canvas so that you guys can see it kind of top down. And I'll try and get a picture of the whole thing so that you guys can see the whole canvas and what it looks like. So yeah, let's take a trip out there and do that. All right, guys, here we are out in the dining room so you can kind of see the size of this painting. It is 70 by 70, like I said, so let's measure. We're gonna measure and then I'll show you the canvas. Okay, so it says 27.5. I'm getting 27 and 68 and a half centimeters this way. Let me measure it the other way. And I'm getting the same thing, 27 ex inches exactly and 68 and a half centimeters. So a little less than the 70 by 70, but not by much. It is, again, 51 colors with three ABs. There is a schematic on both sides. You've got one here and one here. Oraloa is very good about having clear symbols, so I don't have any worries about that. They've got their little tagline down here, let your creativity sparkle. You can see the, uh, their name at the top, down here at the bottom. Can't see, so let me move it over. They've got the image and then all of the measurements. And then over here on the other side, they've got all of their social media and everything. So I'm going to take this off the stand and kind of look over the whole canvas and yeah, let's just take a look at it. Okay, hopefully there's not too much of a glare. So I'm gonna start up here and you can see nice clear symbols. There's the little robot face. You've got the girl with her steampunk hat with the feather and all the goggles and the gears. She's got the little captain sleeves with her kind of Victorian slash steampunk, more gears and cogs and all of that. And then of course, all the, light uh, the lights behind her. You've got the very skinny robot with its almost like a Iron Man little light there in the middle, its metal arms, more lights behind it, and then all the way down to the bottom. So yeah, like I said, I think it's super clear symbols. Never had an issue with Oraloa. And again, this is a square kit. Let me zoom out a little bit here so you guys can kind of get the whole image or at least as best as I can get it. And I'll stick a picture off to the side so you can see it. But yeah, just really, again, when you get close and you look at the, the symbols and everything, super clear. All right, I'm fairly sure I've got multiple colors or multiple bags of one color. So yeah, let's just kind of dig in and we'll see where we end up. All right, so we've got some kind of dusky pink. We've got a light green. We've got kind of a golden yellow orange. We've got two bags of this like dark kind of brick red. We've got an orange, like a butterscotch, a light gray, we've got a dark gray, like a sage green, a pink, a mauve. I haven't seen any duplicate colors yet. So we've got two shades of brown. This one's like a mocha color. This one's like a caramel. Then we've got like a very dark mauve. We've got two bags here of this very dark brown. We've got a light, very light tan. We've got kind of a burnt sienna, a very pale purple. There's like a light brown and then another dark brown. Haven't seen duplicates of those yet. Oh, let's see. Do I have, I have three bags of this brick mulberry brick red. And then let's see, we've got another dark brown. We've got 
kind of a caramel color, a dark brown. We've got several different shades of peach, like an orangey peach, a true peach, and a pale peach. I'm going to assume those are probably flesh colors for the girl. We've got like a salmon color, another peach, another kind of milk chocolate brown. And we've got another peach. I don't think that was the same as any of those. No, the numbers are all different. And then here we've got a like watermelon, a salmon colored, a yellow. We've got another kind of chocolate brown, another kind of mocha brown, like a butterscotch. And then we've got like a kind of mustardy yellow and orange, two more peaches a very pale bright peach and then a pale kind of darker peach. And we've got kind of a greenish gray, a light green, like a, a very kind of a dark sage green. And then we have another peach, a darker peach, another one of those kind of brick red a kind of a dark mauve, and then we have five, no, four bags of black. Now, not the most black that I've ever seen, and actually not a ton of black considering the size of the painting. I actually have much more dark browns and kind of dark reds, brick reds, and then sprinkled in with all these peaches and some of these other colors. Oh, and I forgot the three ABs. So we've got the white AB, we've got a pink AB, and then we have a very, what I think is a dark purple. What is that? Yeah, 154 AB. So a very dark purple AB. So there's the ABs. So let's look and see where those get used. So of course you can see the white ABs here in the robot and then at various places, you know, the little lights over here, etc. And then you get the, the little purple ones. There's some here at the top of the robot. There's some, it looks like in her cleavage and more lights. And then the purple one, is that in the background? Oh, it's in her hat. You can see the F symbol right here in her hat. And then it looks like also down in her clothing as well, maybe some more in the background. So those are the three ABs. I definitely would love to put some of the copper and gun smoke sparklers that I have in this kit. I think that would add a lot to it. All right, I'm gonna put the drills back in the bag now, and then I will be back with my final thoughts and some information. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. And there you have it, guys. I managed to get all of the drills back in the bag, I think, mostly the way that they were, so that when I'm ready to work on this, I can have everything ready to go. Yeah, super happy with this one. And again, loving the sneak peeks. I really love steampunk, and I think this is a really cool canvas. As usual, I will put a link down below. Like I said, this will be available tomorrow as part of their new releases. So make sure you check them out. I'll link the website down below. Uh, I'm not sure what the cost of this will be, but Orloa licenses all their art. They have really good products. I've never been disappointed with anything of theirs that I've done. So yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.